Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this flashing strobe video effect that I saw trending on TikTok. So the first thing I'm going to do is, well, I don't know what song this is, but I'm going to use the song that's involved in the trend. And you could see when you drag that clip onto your timeline, the audio has these visible waveforms, which are going to give us the basis of our edit. So the first thing I'll actually do is just create a new sequence file, new sequence. And if you did want to make it a vertical video, um, you could just start with like a DSLR 1080p preset, but just go to the settings. And since a horizontal video is a 16 by nine ratio, a vertical video, we can just switch that. So it can be 10, 1080 by 1920. So instead it'll be nine by 16, basically flipping it on its side. So when I press okay, that will create this new sequence. You can see it's a vertical canvas. And you can insert whatever graphics or pictures you want. I'm going to take the original sound from the original TikTok video, just so I have that to work with. And then I can insert whatever videos or pictures I want. So I'm going to zoom in just so I can see. If you want, you can even make your audio track larger so you can see the waveforms better. But if I drag an example clip on there, for example, this, this is a vertically shot video, and this one is pretty long. Now there's two ideas for how you could do this. One, you could make it strobe so that time passes in between the black parts. So let's say if I just grab my razor tool, I'll press C, that'll grab your razor tool, and you can hover over whatever section. So I can move my arrow. I can even use my arrow keys, like right arrow or left arrow. Go right when the audio stops, I can visibly see it, and just click and chop that part. And you don't even have to move your timeline every time if you don't want to. If you want, you can just visibly move your mouse and you can see it move uh, frame by frame. And if you hold shift, you can even see what it would look like if you chopped everything. So you, you might want to just hold shift so you can see, and then once it's aligned, simply click. And you can, and you can do that throughout the whole thing. So once I've created a cut point at every single pulse, I'll press V to grab my selection tool again. And you can see these all in the toolbar right here. And I'll click on these middle points and I'll actually hold shift. That way I can just click on each one of these middle points. And then I can simply delete them. So I'll press delete. And what this will do, oh, I'll also get this a little bit at the, at the start here. Now what this will do is our clip will only play when the audio plays. Now in this case, you, you see time passes from the end of this clip to the beginning of this clip. There was this whole section that passed. While the clip was not playing, all this stuff happened and then we jumped to this. That doesn't really make too much of a difference in this case, but if you had a video clip of someone running or doing some mo fast motion, that is something to consider. Do you want time to pass in between the blink? Or instead of cutting and deleting, you could cut and then move. So I could cut the clip and then move it and then cut the clip and then move it. And in this way, where no time is passing in between the blinks. Time is sort of freezing in between each time you, the video blinks. And you'll get a slightly different result, especially if your clip has motion in it. But that's kind of a personal uh, editorial choice for you to make. Uh, and aside from just doing it on the same clip, you can also do multiple different clips. So if you had a whole bunch of different clips, once you make your original cuts, actually, it's pretty easy. You can just kind of copy them, but on a track above. And you'll see Premiere will snap to the cuts. So whatever's on video track two will show over video track one. And in this case, you can mix multiple clips. Now, some other things you can do, not only can you change the video clip, but you can also add different effects on different clips. So just for example, if I made one black and white, I can, I can make certain clips black and white, or I can really throw whatever effects I want on there. If that's another idea of variation that you want to include, but another similar idea that I want to include in this video, just so you can think about different effects and ideas is in the effects panel, there is an effect called strobe, the strobe light effect in the stylized folder. 
When you add this effect onto a clip, it adds a strobe color, or you can make the layer transparent. So everything underneath will show. And it will strobe a certain color based on a duration and period that you give it. So in this case, we're getting a strobe for half a second every one second. Now, the reason I didn't do it this way is because it, it depends on the song. Like in this case, the song is very syncopated and it plays every, every certain duration. But if it was a little bit more of a variation in the song, then this might be hard to align in the way that it'd be much easier the way that we just cut it. So you can see already it's, I really wouldn't know, do I put 0.6 seconds? Like what's the exact math on this instrument or this beat that plays? But it is an idea that I want you to remember is in Premiere. You can strobe any color you want, including black. And really the strobe comes in more handy when you need to do really fast strobes. So let's say like 0.1 and 0.2 on the strobe duration. Now it'll strobe five times a second, basically. That is something that'd be kind of really tedious and annoying to do with cuts. Um, and maybe you can even do both. You could do the strobe and the cuts. So it could be like jittering and pulsing at the same time. And this is what that might look like. So just a little bit more of an advanced idea for you to just to keep in mind that's there. I have full separate tutorials on my channel that go in depth all on the strobe light effect and different ideas for how to use that if you're interested to check out more. But this has been a tutorial on how to do this pulsing strobe TikTok trend effect. Hopefully you picked up a few editing tricks from it or it gave you some ideas. If you did, you can subscribe here on YouTube to stay tuned for all my new videos and check out my channel for hundreds more in the playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.